Hi y'all. Welcome back to 3D Winter Mug. We are on part three right now. We are wrapping it up and we are going to assemble all of these pieces that we made in the past two classes. What we did the first class was we created pattern for our wall and our table. We created a shape here for our oval saucer. We created another pattern on our mug. And we also created a shape here for our mug handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this mug handle. The letter C. Getting the outside. And I'm also going to get the inside. I'm not cutting directly on the lines that I made, but that's okay. I just thought I needed it a little bit bigger than what I originally made. So here's my letter C. I'm going to fold a tiny, tiny bit of my paper back here and here. This is where I'm going to attach it to my mug. So it's just a tiny little bent part and I'll set that aside for now. I don't need it just yet. Here is where the magic is going to happen. We're going to take this and we're going to curve it. So we have our mug. So we can bend back a good chunk of this. I'm gonna go ahead and bend back. This is probably an inch and a half to two inches on this side. I wanna make sure that it looks like a mug. I don't want it to stick up too far. Something like this is probably good. And I wanna give it a nice little curl. So I'm gonna roll it with my fingers, curl it. So when I stick it down, it'll actually curl. So we've got our shape that looks like this. Play around with it, make sure it looks good before you commit to folding it. And then, I'm just gonna go ahead, get our trusty glue stick out. Or if you have a glue bottle, you can use that too. Don't use too much because it'll definitely slide around. If you use a glue bottle, and we want this to be sort of tacky so it doesn't necessarily slide around on us. And then I'm going to place it on my saucer so it's curved upward like so. And I'm just gonna put my hand inside the mug. Make sure it's nice and even. I'm putting my hand inside and I'm pushing down. This is what it looks like from the top. So my two ends are almost touching there. And look at that, it's kind of th it's three, it is 3D. It's definitely 3D, cool looking. Then we're gonna go ahead and attach our handle. I think I want a pattern on that handle. That's a little bit too plain and purpley for me. So I might take my purple and put some stripes on it to match my mug. Make it a little more interesting. There we go. Now again, I'll take my glue stick and just I'm gluing only the little flap here. Just the little flap that I folded over at the beginning little bit here. I'll put my hand inside the mug to support it as I push down the edges. Check that out. That is our mug, but it needs one final touch. It's 3D, it's sticking out. We've got shapes, we've got patterns, we've got forms, a whole bunch of cool art stuff happening here. The final thing we need to do is add some fluff or some smoke or some steam coming out of the top. So I have this cotton batting that I found, but if you can get a cotton ball and sort of pull it apart, that could work too. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this off and tuck it in the top of my mug. I don't even have to glue it because I'm not bringing this out on a windy day or anything. And check it out. There is my steaming hot cup of cocoa or coffee or tea, whatever it is that you prefer. If you have any extras that you'd like to add to this, maybe you wanna draw a tea bag coming out, you could do that. Or add some little marshmallows on the side or some chocolates. Have fun and add some stuff to this if you want to. But alone, as it is right now, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna tuck a little more of this in to see what it looks like, just for fun. Play around with it, make sure it makes sense. Cool, that might be a little too much. I'll go back to my original, original bit and kind of fluff it out. But there you go, pretty fun, 
three-dimensional paper sculpture drawing using pattern and line and shape. Some really good elements of art. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hang this up in a place where everybody can see it and go get yourself a real cup of hot steaming, hot cocoa or coffee or whatever is good for you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.